Hello everyone and welcome to another time challenge video. Today we are gonna get the gold star in the second time challenge. And the name of the time challenge is Terrace Time and uh, Copenhagen Park. I have to admit this is one of the most difficult time scenarios I, uh, I did. I finished them uh, all so far, um, so all the videos are gonna be released in the next couple of days. I only have to um, edit it and uh, do a little voiceover so I can uh, push them out for you guys before the new update. So you guys can already unlock all uh, the new statues. And the good news, there will also be another time scenario in the update, which is really exciting. And uh, I will try to get that video out as soon as possible, of course. So the objectives for today have at least 10 different habitat species in the park with an overall welfare of 85% uh, have at least 3 animal talks in a year, achieve an overall zoo rating of a 4 out of 5, have at least 2000 guests in the zoo, uh, earn a yearly profit of $30,000 and spend $5,000 on yearly marketing. So we are starting off with a little camel habitat. These are really easy animals. I know I mentioned this in the previous video as well. The camels are uh, yeah, probably in the easiest animals to please in this game. Just a bit of sand and rock and then you're all good to go. So planning in this one was the most difficult. I think I started this one three times before I really got the hang of it. So I put the facilities in a certain spot, as you can see, right next to the uh, the little river. And I did that with a reason, because I can build around five habitats around it with only these facilities. And it works perfectly. And uh, I think that is one of the key elements to do in this scenario. Um, yeah, to get a uh, yeah to get a really fast time or really short time for this one. And uh, don't have any struggles with uh, with like staff kind of not reaching their habitats and uh, and stuff like that, uh, because you have like different levels of land and um, yeah the paths will be really long and that uh, I think that's a uh, it's a bit of a pain if you don't start off in the right position. First time I started this scenario, I put the facilities right at the entrance, but that didn't work at all. The staff had to walk for uh, um, yeah for way too long, and that doesn't work as you might know. So uh, I started off with three different habitats. I'm putting the flamingos and the tapirs together. Again, I know I always do this uh, or always do this. I, I did that in the previous uh, video as well. And I will do that again in the next two time scenarios. Uh, it's a really cool combination. We have flamingos, you have tapirs and you can put them in one habitat. The only thing is they get stressed really easily. So in the end, when it gets busier, I will have to raise the barriers a little bit and put some windows in it instead of these low barriers. I put some toilets in, make the price 50 cents, make sure I synchronize them all, put some shops in and make sure they have power with this a little windmill. As you can see, I'm raising the prices. Make sure you... Um, synchronize them i think i increased the prices with like two dollars something like that i'm not sure if you can increase it even more i didn't really try it um but yeah you let me know down in the comments if uh, if that's something you can actually do the bench and the benches make sure you use a green bench uh, because you will get conservation credits for it and you will need that to adopt certain animals for example the giraffe you can already see it's in my um, in my trade center because I once had a struggle that I couldn't adopt a giraffe anymore in like the end of the game. So I made sure I already have them um, yeah, before I even start building a, a habitat for them. In this time scenario, you, you also have to do the research. As you can see, I, um, I increased the speed of like three times. I think that's also really important to do because the research will go much faster. And as you, as you saw in the beginning of the video, it took me like five seconds to... Um, get the first research done for the camel so I can already put the enrichment items they need into uh, the habitat. Uh, the third habitat will be for the Nile monitor. As you can see, we're still doing a lot of uh, research. And uh, I think that's the good thing of these uh, facilities, like right in the middle, there are like three, um, three gates right next to it. So the vet can yeah, jump around really easily. And so is the keeper. I only hired one keeper and one mechanic and uh, I think one caretaker for now. Uh, but then you saw the message of like the uh, the rubbish going on in the zoo so i hired another 
caretaker for uh, that. So the next habitat is going to be for the Japanese macaque. And um, yeah, not much to say about that. Make sure you already research the uh, climbing structures. Otherwise, you will have to make something yourself. You can see I'm uh, putting a mechanic on the research right now. Also really important, make sure you use or build all of the staff facilities. I didn't build the quarantine. I also didn't do that in the um, in the previous time scenario. Um, I didn't use it. I didn't have to use it. Um, so I think it's a bit of a waste of money in the beginning to uh, yeah to build something like that if you don't need it. As you can see, I didn't have the blueprints yet, so I made some simple climbing structures uh, right next to the trees. You will need a cooler, you will need some snow, that also costs you a bit of money. So I'm not 100% sure if the Japanese macaque is like the uh, smartest thing to do in the beginning. But yeah, it worked out pretty well. Don't forget about donation boxes, don't forget about education. Really important in this timed scenario. And um, yeah, because for me, the biggest struggle was the $30,000 yearly profit in the end. I mean getting like 5,000 into marketing, that's two clicks, uh, setting up uh, the um, the animal talk points, also pretty easy, but um, yeah, the, the $30,000 yearly profit, somehow it was a was a bit of a struggle, but I have a little trick for that now, and I will show you in the, uh, in the end of the video how to un unlock that one really, really easily. Um, so yeah, I changed the terrain here a little bit. Also a good tip, if you are out of money in the beginning, just delete those barriers. You will get a lot of money from it and uh, you don't need them. So as you can see, I'm deleting them here and I will get, uh, I think, a couple of thousand. Um, so yeah, if you are in like money struggles in the beginning of this time scenario, you can uh, just delete those barriers and it works out pretty well. So I'm looking for some animals. I'm putting the Bengal Tigers in next. These will attract a lot of new guests, which is really important. Of course, because we have to get 2,000 guests in at the end of this uh, time scenario. Again, I forgot to uh, feed the Japanese macaque and to give them uh, some drinks. So uh, I will have to put that back in. Making sure I have some um, like extra staff buildings right over here. It will need some power. I will add that uh, later. And I will give them the dedicated keeper. Because I was thinking about doing another habitat here. But I don't think I, uh, I actually did that because I will only add one more habitat and that's it because in this scenario we are gonna combine a lot of animals but you will see that uh, in a few minutes uh, terrain work some foliage of course I really don't care how these habitats are looking so I'm just putting down some huge trees I will never use in the actual game and uh, making sure these animals are all happy I will put some shelter in I will put some uh, yeah, some enrichment items in and that's uh, that's basically it um, um yeah of course checking the entrance price for example all of the time you will get some pop-up messages if it's too low make sure you pay attention to that one because it's really important i think in the end i would i was able to increase the entrance price to like 45 dollars which is a lot as you can see i'm changing it right now um but it will be a lot of income, especially when you start the marketing. There will be a lot of guests coming in. And if the entrance price is too low, you are missing out on a lot of money. So uh, a little trick again. I, I think this was pretty smart. I'm building a really big habitat right over here. In which we are going to combine a lot of the, um, the African animals. So I'm making a nice little viewing spot over here. Make sure you connect those paths. Because they are not connected in the beginning. I don't know why. Um... Again, some star facilities that we need right here. I will get some dedicated keepers and mechanics uh, again, making sure it was uh, able to reach it. The path, again, it's of course a nice little struggle as uh, as usual. Uh, yeah, it's all part of the game, I guess. So the animals that I'm gonna put in, you already saw me adopting a few giraffes. I'm adopting a hippos. I'm going to put the uh, wildebeest in. I'm going to put Indian elephants in. So that's like four animals combined in one habitat. And that's all we need. Um, so yeah, the hippos need a lot of water. So I will uh, I will add those. But you can see me yeah, trying to search for all the animals that we need. I'm putting the wildebeest in. And then I will start on the actual habitat. 
make sure you have uh, these big shelters in and hippos need a lot of water so i'm putting a lot of water in for them this is actually not enough so i will have to add a, a bit more in the end doing some terrain work and make sure the foliage is okay for them and um, yeah we are just waiting for the wildebeest to uh, to get in i'm setting up the work zone of course that's really important so there's one work zone for the um for first habitats then there's a second work zone for the uh, bengal tiger and then the last work zone is for this a gigantic african safari habitat thingy um so the tapirs and the flamingos were getting stressed and that's probably because the guests were also able to uh, look into the habitat from um, the backside so i increased the barriers so they were not able to um, to see the animals anymore from that side so the animals won't get uh, stressed out too much anymore so one thing i always do in these time scenarios i um, i play a little bit with the opening times so when I'm recording this, it will also uh, always be daytime. So sometimes you will see a quick switch to um, to night and day. It doesn't impact your game at all. So you can just uh, put the uh, the opening times to like six o'clock and then make sure it opens at eight o'clock in the morning. So it's always daylight. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to do that in the uh, in the final uh, video that we're gonna do. So I'm really curious how that one ended up. Um, I, I really hope you guys can still see what I'm doing, but I will try to explain um, what I'm doing during the voiceover, of course. I already did a little poll on the channel as well, um, asking you guys if you were enjoying this. And uh, yeah, basically only 6% said uh, no, I want to see it in a different way. So 94% uh, yeah, was really happy with how these videos or how I was doing these uh, videos. So uh, I'm calling it a speed build, but it's not yeah that fast and you guys can follow along and uh, yeah i did get a lot of messages from you guys that you were finally able to get the gold star in the first time scenario and i think this one is the most difficult um so yeah i really hope that you guys will be able to get them as well so please let me know down in the comments if you uh, yeah if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out unlocking these gold stars for the time scenarios you will get a gold crocodile statue from this one it's uh it's nice it's amazing um i didn't use the crocodiles in this one but who cares i'm putting some uh, exhibits in just to get some extra money and some extra guests in i know it's not part of the uh, of the goals for this one but uh yeah it's a uh, it's a nice little addition again all the all the people are standing here to watch these animals in the african safari habitat so i'm trying to uh, build another viewing spot right over there i already put some donation boxes on the other spot as well but it, it doesn't work like that and um, i will put the barrier up again uh, on that same spot so guests won't be able to see the animals anymore from that one or from that part and they will have to go down to actually see the animals and uh, it looks a little bit better and it works a bit better also for the education rating and um, also the tape is and the flamingos were getting stressed out because all the people were standing there so i think that was a that was a good decision again the uh, the research is still going hard and um, yeah we will have a few messages make sure you always check the the messages include everything in the work zones especially when you're putting down vending machines and stuff make sure you include them in the work zones otherwise mechanics just don't have time and they will be broken every 10 minutes i don't know what is what's wrong with vending machines but they break every 10 minutes so uh, yeah make sure you pay attention to that one i had a little pop-up message that said i had no atm so i'm putting them down and uh, as i told you vending machines make sure you include them in your work zones so now I just unlocked some um, some marketing. We also have to do that somehow. When I only started uh, one marketing thing with five thousand dollars, it wasn't enough. So I had to put another one in with a thousand dollars. So I will spend around six thousand dollars yearly on marketing. A little trick I'm doing here is increase the prices and check if uh, the guests are still coming into the zoo. If your entrance price is too high, they won't come in and uh, you will just see them turn around and um yeah basically don't enter the zoo and that you know and you don't want that so then you will have to lower the entrance price again and uh, and that's it so up next some shops um just to get that final money in 
Uh, again, I can increase the uh, the entrance price. Really important. Then we will set up the animal talks. I'm not sure if I already did that, um, but maybe we will be there in a, in a few minutes. Uh, so the animal talks. Just put down three spots right next to the first three habitats, included in a in a work zone, and put one educator in there, and that's it. So if you want to uh, unlock the uh, the final yearly profit, what I'm doing here is just take out a loan. That's it. You will get the money, and uh, that will be it for this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you were able to un unlock uh, the gold star for uh, this park. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye. You, you.